uh, in ancient Hawaii, there were many sacred foods that could be uh, eaten by only the chiefs, such as the moi. But fortunately, the hei could be eaten by all people. Uh, so this is the hei, or octopus. The first step into making this is lay the legs out in one, on one side. On the back side of the head, there's a hole. You stick your fingers in it, and you want to rip it and flip the head inside out, exposing all the guts and insides. So once the head is inside out, you want to cut it off gently to remove the uh, internal organs in the brain, especially uh, the liver, which is used to season the hei later in the process. And once the organs are removed, cut off the eyes, including the brain, to discard. Once the head and brain is removed, uh, turn over and pull legs open to expose the pico, or the center of it, which is the beak, and you want to slice this out. All right, once the head and beak is removed, you want to lomi it with some Hawaiian sea salt. And this process kills bacteria, which the ancient Hawaiians used to preserve their food, and also to uh, soften the meat of the octopus. And this process takes about an hour um, just to tenderize. So after an hour or so of massaging the he'e, you want to take it out and rinse it off really well with water. Just to get out the salt. And once rinsed off, what you want to do is slice the legs into small bits. Once all the pieces, the legs and the head are chopped up, you want to take the original organ sac and look for the liver. And this is what we're going to use to flavor our he'e.
want them to get. And once the liver juices are in there, you want to add cuckoo nut. And mix. And there you go. And this is how the ancient Hawaiians prepared hei.